Digital Life 101. What is the place of digital media in our lives? Hello, and thank you for wanting to know more about digital life. In this lesson, you will learn more about your own use of digital media and the meaning of the term digital divide and complete activities that will help you reflect on your use of media and the media around you. You will see that digital media is a two-way medium, which means that many people, those close to you and those far away, can view and comment on the digital content that you create. So keep in mind how you and others feel about what you create and how you spend your digital lifetime. What is your favorite digital media device? First, let's define both media and digital media. Typical media includes communication such as television, radio, and newspapers, and those tend to reach and impact a large audience. Digital media can be more personal and includes electronic devices and media platforms that allow you to create, communicate, and interact. You might consider your MP3 player, YouTube, your cell phone as digital media devices. What other devices can you think of? As an activity, list the devices you use or own and rank them in order of importance to you personally. If you're working with a group or friends and family, share that list with your group. So what's the difference? There are two main types of media that we'll discuss in this lesson, traditional media such as television, radio, newspapers, magazines and books, and digital media which includes software and devices such as instant messaging, text messaging, cell phones, blogs, websites, Facebook, Twitter, games, and YouTube. What media type do you prefer and what about your friends and family? Why do you prefer these types of media? Let's discuss some of the differences between digital media and traditional media. Traditional media, such as TV and radio, is a broadcast medium. Therefore, there is someone who creates the content and then shares it with a large audience. Digital media traditionally allows people opportunities for interactive communication, for creation, and self-expression. So you can create a video, upload it to YouTube, share it with a lot of people, get comments from those people, and even responsive videos. So what do you do with traditional media and digital media? Traditional media, like TV and radio, lets you consume media. You watch, listen, or read by yourself or with friends. Digital media lets you communicate, connect, play, share, create, and subscribe. You often comment back to the creators of digital media or use devices to create your own content. You're not just a consumer, you're a provider. So which activities do you prefer? What about your friends and family? And why? Now let's compare different digital lives. This chart illustrates a digital divide, how some families access the internet and digital devices only at work or school, and others have constant access to digital media and devices at home, work, school, and even on the go. How does the length of time you have access to digital devices during the day affect your life, and how would it affect the lives of the two families you see on your screen? Looking at the devices and access available to each of these families, ask yourself the question, how much time do you think each family spends using these devices? Which family is more like your family and why? What family and personal values and resources lead to digital divides between families? And how would this build or weaken the relationships within the family and with other families in a community? Now it's time for an activity. We're going to create a concept map. Use a piece of paper and use the following headings, types, actions, feelings, and others' feelings. We're going to discuss the types of digital media you use, your actions with digital devices, your feelings about using digital media, and others' feelings about your use of media. Self-reflect and brainstorm about all four parts of the concept map. 
List items that are both general, such as cell phones, and specific, like playing Call of Duty or World of Warcraft. If you don't have a piece of paper, in a new tab, go to texttomindmap.com. That's T-E-X-T, -E the number 2, M-I-N-D-M-A-P dot C-O-M. Typing that into your browser will take you to a web application that will allow you to create your own concept map. Remember, you can use a piece of paper or you can visit texttomindmap.com. If you choose to use this website, please open it either in a new window or a new tab on your browser. For those of you who are viewing this session, we've provided a concept map using texttomindmap.com on the next slide. This is a sample concept map. As you can see, we have the four headings including types, our feelings, others' feelings, and the actions taken with devices. Many devices, such as video game consoles, cell phones, televisions, surround us. However, the media lives of all people are not the same. Some people use more digital devices on a regular basis than others, and some people have preferences for certain devices. Some people can't live without that cell phone, and others carry around a tablet. These preferences lead to different maps for each individual. As you look at your map, ask yourself, would the map of other members in your family look the same? Would age, gender, race, religion, or education be a factor? And do you take this into account when dealing with people online and in person? Now let's review. What have you learned about the 24-7 social nature of digital media? Did you have an opportunity to explore your digital life? And what have you learned about the importance of acting responsibly in digital relationships? We appreciate your time and attention and want to improve all of our sessions. The title of this lesson is Digital Life 101 and using the link on this page you can access our survey, which will help us improve this lesson and other lessons in the future. Thank you. Now it's time to assess what you know about digital and traditional medias. Please use the links on your screen to access our digital media quiz and our digital media games. One, none, or all of these activities can be used as assessments, and additional assessments are available from commonsensemedia.org. Thank you for your time and attention. Remember, if you're viewing this online, please complete our survey. Thank you again, and have a great day.